Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Hey man, this all this ain't with no topic, no conversation. I just want to put it out there. Man, from from my job to the public's ears, please, younger generation, take a break off social media. It's a lot of new mm-hmm. mental shit and new disorders just being made off social media. Please, mm-hmm. please, you don't have to make a post. It ain't a necessity. It ain't a need. It's a real bad want that you can't shake because you just got to put something up there. They begin to dictate. If it's that important, write it down. Write a piece of paper. Read it. If you still feel the same way, go ahead and post it. But I guarantee mm-hmm. you, once you write on a piece of paper and read it, you ain't going to have that same ugh, to type it out. Most posts are made in haste. If you, you, you do the shit, and it's done. Please respect yourselves. And as the hot boy said, please respect your mind. The devices, the social media, it seems like reality, but it's only reality in the social media world. Filters are made for a reason. Stop that shit. Uh Now the reality is killing folks. Like literally, P and B rock dead because of social media. Your your real reality is much more enjoyable, much more memorable, much 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 more fulfilling than your social media one. It's people out there that hate to fucking read. It's reading all day on social media because they read none of my posts. Or you could be reading mm-hmm. something to enhance yourself. Please, please. Love yourself more than you love your devices and social media. Man, look at uh, we can flip what DJ Vlad said the other day. Think of your top 10 moments in your life. How many of them involved you having a post? Like, I can guarantee you, in them top 10 moments, in the actual moment, you won't think about, oh, this would be a great nothing like you was just experiencing, like, oh, this is fun. This is I have thing. never posted any of my top moments. I always forget to because I'm living the moment. The moment is the only, the only people that know about my top moments okay. are the closest people because my top moments mean that much to me that I only want them to know because they mean that much to me. Don't nobody on social media will care that much about all the followers. I guarantee it. If we really see what the purpose of social media is nowadays, it ain't to be social. It's to be promotional. Yeah, it's all selling stuff. Mm -hmm. Please, man. Commercials don't hardly come. New commercials ain't coming on TV. New commercials is every day on social media. Come on. Care about yourself, people. I just have to take a sad step. My bad, my apologies, audience, my apologies, partners, my apologies, pod squad. But shit. Which some you- of this shit shouldn't have to be in the DSM folk based on social media. Cause at the end of the day, if an EMP was to go off and all devices was null and void, I guarantee a large population of motherfuckers would be doing some stupid shit to themselves. Cause they can't get to social media. Do you see a lot of? Let's not have that. At your job, do you see a lot of people that's messed up from like social media disorders, or like disorders that like stem from recently? Artists? Recently, yeah, recently, yeah. Um, especially with the younger groups, the younger generations coming in, and I only deal with adults. So, the youngest I'll deal with is eighteen. The oldest I'll deal with is however old you can get. Um, but. I see more social media related shit and just by the conversations I hear 
I just had to post it. I, I needed to let them know. No, you didn't. Because when I act, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not in that other type of role where my questions will lead to a diagnosis or nothing like that. But my role is like, I have the different type of conversations with them. I'll I, I come sit in your room and I'm going to have a conversation with you just like a regular person. Remember? So how you talk to me ain't going to be how you talk to that that next level up. Mm -hmm. So you'll give me a total different answer, a, a, a more real day-to-day -day answer. You don't have to do nothing in life but stay yourself and perish. That's the only thing when you're born you have to do. True. Really? The only reason I have a cell phone is because I have a family. <laughs> Those of you who know me and know me well and knew me around 2006 know I refused to have a cell phone for three or four years. And my two brothers made me get one. Because couldn't nobody get in contact with me. But I was always raised if a motherfucker call you, if it's important, they'll keep calling till they get you. So <laughs> that's how I carried it. I could give a fuck about social media, and social media was out then, because Facebook had already came out at this point. Yep. Yeah, MySpace. I have social media now only be only because I'm involved in the business. You know what social media was fun though? Black Planet. Mm -hmm. you, you had to learn all the look like that shit was teaching niggas coding and shit. We was learning HTML codes and shit to make your page sparkle and have lightning and. Play music when they turn on and all kinds of it, shit. It's still the backgrounds and shit, some more shit. Yeah, man, like that shit used to be uh -huh. Like, I remember I used to spend hours on that shit, not even talking about it, just trying to customize my page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was a very, I don't know. Like a playing technology moves people move backwards, man. Sorry, like people playing backwards. Bad attack. On fucking um, video games when you mess with my face. Shit. Mm. Mm. Toxic uh, thing there, man. It uh, leads to a lot of. I mean, I guess it was made for good, but it leads to a lot of fuckery. And uh, yeah. Have y'all noticed that anything made for good, once it gets in the hands of a whole bunch of people, it le always leads to bad. Always. But if, but if it only stayed in the hands of a few, it would still be good. You know what it is? It ain't, it ain't it ain't the masses. It's select folks learning how to use their evil intentions on that thing. So like mm -hmm. the mass of people ain't out here using computers for no crazy shit. But the people that are even though they are a small population because of the way stuff works now and because of the interconnectivity of everything is like now small amounts of people can have these mass impacts. So like, if you think about how many people really it was that started them little Russia rumors, it won't that many people, but then like they preying on the masses. So now they can impact where it used to be that little fringe group might impact the 30 people in their village over in Siberia somewhere. And now they impacting millions of people. On you feel me? So it's mm -hmm. like, I think, I think it's the, if we could go back just a step to where we got like some of the amenities we have now, but it's not so interconnected. I think that helps. I think it's the fact that everything is so interconnected. Some one yeah. person fuck up like thousands of people's lives, whereas it used to be that one person had a smaller impact if they was a fucked up person. Yeah, it's like it's like it makes evil mass producible. Damn. Yeah, that that's that's part about it. Yeah, then it, we just have somebody with the the wrong stuff in general. Like you could probably pick any type of like skill or anything like that, and somebody could flip it in a way where it's detrimental to someone. Hell yeah! But, yeah. Like look at medicine. You got medicine that is great, and then you got that same technology and that same like everything that also makes bio warfare and chemical warfare. The same thing that power. Yeah. Millions of homes 
is the same thing that makes the atomic bomb. So it's like mm-hmm. it just depends on whose hands is in and how connected or how how much that technology or that thing is going to be able to affect more than that small group. Like the knife, sure. the knife was something, you know, to help hunters, to help people defend themselves against animals. But then people kill people with it. But it used to be, you know, one nigga with one knife couldn't kill with so many people. So yeah, mm-hmm. it was no big deal. But when you got niggas with choppers and that one nigga sure. come in and clip up and can kill hundreds, now it's going to make a big impact. And now it's like, it feels like every time we have something new, the masses fuck it up. But if you look at it, it's the masses that's the victim most of the time. Mm-hmm. This world just need to have a place for fucked up people to go and just fuck with each other. Just leave us the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Fuck really, Yeah, I don't care if the fucked up people is in the world. Like, I just don't want them affecting us. Around me. Let me go by my day. That's all I'm asking. Pretty please. Yeah, do that, that shit somewhere else. Yeah, keep all that fucking real over there. I need some good in my life. You feel That's me? the reason why I don't go out places now, because there's too many assholes out there. Makes the world stink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make no damn sense. At the end of the day, we should all be able to coexist cohesively. Right. You feel me? Like, I sit back. Like, with my shit now, I got a lot of time to just sit back and, 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 and wonder about some other level shit. You remember, like, Motherfuckers battle on race and color and all this other shit, but those are all human constructs. Like we, we battled on shit we created. Like the shit that we didn't have no need, no 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 bounds on. Motherfuckers agree on mm-hmm. the same agreements. I Man, had that same agreements. Like you let man-made groups separate and cause other bullshit. It's motherfuckers at war. Because two motherfuckers did disagree. Millions of motherfuckers died that have nothing to do with this shit. There's a lot of shit that go on that a motherfucker actually spoke up. Shit wouldn't go on that way. You feel me? Like, it just, shit should be different. Shit should be different, man. But if it was different, it wouldn't be the same. So that's why everybody continues to rock with what, what we got. <laughs> Shit funny as a bitch. Comfort, man. I think comfort is the key word to human civilization. Why it's like it is. Like, uh-huh. Everybody wants to be comfortable. Now, by comfort, people don't care if it comes at the discomfort of others. So I'll build a really big ass house, even if that means that because of that, that's three less plots that could have housed three other families. So now we got more homeless people. Like, it's a whole lot of little shit that it go back to comfort. I I got this amount of money, but this amount of money will make me more comfortable and make my family more comfortable. So I'm going to steal what you got to make sure I have more. Yep. Comfort, man. It's like people have lifestyles. I, I'm willing to cling to these whatever or this thing, or these, whatever, even if it's hurting the masses. Like, when we think about warfare, when we think about weapons, when we think about uh, even certain, like, chemicals, like, why do we need them at this point? Like, how are mm-hmm. they? They're not, but they make people feel comfortable. Or people are, they're part of somebody's lifestyle, or there's part of the nationalism of that country. Like, Russia's almost made uh, it their national pride to have, like, warfare going. Yeah. It's, like, ingrained in them 
that that's what, what they do. So it's hard to get them to say, you know, all right, why don't y'all just chill? Well, no, nah, we just, this is what we do. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We're so more like, like people and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it, it's, it's a lot of psychology to that shit, but, but it boiled down to like, people just want to be more comfortable than others. Or just that comfortable is. in general, and they not worried about how their comfort is going to make somebody else discomfortable. Like, I'd rather mm-hmm. my comfort. Like, it'd be great if everybody thought, like, let let us get comfortable. How can yeah. we all be the most comfortable we can be? All together. We all going to be here. I'm going to be here. You're going to be here. So how do we coexist? Like, if people treated the world like they do with roommates, you feel me? Like with a roommate, it ain't but so much you're going to do usually because like, I'm going to be here. You're going to be here. So if some shit go down, tomorrow we're going to still be here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's weird. So let's go ahead, set some ground rules. We figure out how we can both coexist in here. Now, I may not oh, be yeah. as comfortable as I would like to be, and you may not be as comfortable as you would like to be. But we are both at a comfortable enough level where we can be comfortable. And that's uh-huh. how we got to treat the world. But people won't want to do that because, damn it, I want my cereal and the cereal that you bought. Fuck that. Exactly. I want to take it all. Agreed. I, 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 I don't want the girls that I get. I want the girl that you get. Or I want the car that you drive. Or I want the lifestyle that you live. That, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker, they can't have it. <laughs> I like keep up with the Joneses. Shit. Keep up with the faces if you want to, goddammit. Keep up with the faces. The faces. Mm-hmm. Well, why are we keeping over that? Have you been keeping up with the good and fuckery this week?